everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna be opening up this Bell Nendroid figure and then making a painting based off of it. This is my first ever Nendroid and I also have a Rapunzel one coming. <laughs> so here's what the box looks like. Let's dive right in. <gasps> There's a backdrop. Am I supposed to open the box? Or was that just supposed to be visible before? Oh my god. <gasps> ah! Count. Warning, don't attempt to read Japanese when you don't know Japanese. It's like a puzzle. Ah! Oh my gosh, she's so cute! Oh, don't rip her head off. Actually, I think you're supposed to rip her head off. Look at her. The shading on her hair, ooh. Although it's weird they shaded the hair but they didn't shade anywhere else. Her little nose, oh, her feet. <laughs> this must be her stand. Oh, there's so many places to peg this. So much versatility. Not sure what that's for. These holes aren't all the same size. Huh. Bleh, zombie. Okay, it looks like we have another piece of her dress. Where is that supposed to clip on? Oh, the side piece comes off. Oh, I see, okay, okay. She has another face. This one's looking to the side and her mouth is open. Hmm, I might like that more. They're very versatile, but I feel like I just wanna set it up one way and leave it. <laughs> There's a teeny tiny rose. And a little mirror with beast in it. Oh. Hello. I was wondering why it showed a picture of Beast. I was like, he's just in the mirror? I thought there was something else. This is way bigger than what I thought it was. I guess it's for her to stand next to. <laughs> Here are her arms. Cute little hand poses. I like this one. Oh, I didn't even see this before. <laughs> it's the little bell jar for the rose. And we have little Chip. <laughs> and Mrs. Potts. So cute. <laughs> Time to rip her apart. Ugh. Oh, is this an extra neck joint? I guess. Do I want her holding the mirror? Do I want her holding the dress? I mean, she has to hold the dress. Is that this hand? No. Oh, I ripped out her arm socket, I see. No, that's how it is. Wait, okay, apparently she has two of these arm sockets. I will take one of them. No wonder that arm wouldn't reach. That's her left arm, not her right arm. Oh, here we go. There we go, there we go. Okay, let's change her face. Oof, oof, oh, that's freaky. It's like that video from Disney World or something when that character's face falls off. <laughs> So there she is. We also have the rose. Oh, oh, so cute. And then we have our extra pieces, ignore that. Show me the beast. All right, so now I'm gonna make a painting of this Nendroid Bell. So first, here's a look at my little planning that I did, just figuring out the composition, color scheme, that sort of thing. I started by sketching Belle onto this canvas. It's a wood canvas. I don't remember where I got it. It's, I've had it in my closet for a while. It's from some art store, but it was about the size I wanted, so I thought it would be good for this painting. I knew I wanted to incorporate the bell jar somehow into the painting, but I didn't want it to be a prop because I didn't want a scene. I knew I wanted Belle and some kind of abstract background or something, and I was looking at this Beauty and the Beast poster I have in my room and the colors of Beauty and the Beast are this golden yellow and navy blue and on this poster behind Belle there's this archway and it's really dark outside there's some blacks and dark blues and then there are little stars and that made me think of the bell jar because of the shape and those colors inspired the background so I decided to put Belle inside the bell jar 
and then have the dark background around her with the little stars. I also made her taller than the Nendroid figure is. I changed up the proportions because I wanted her to fit the shape of the bell jar a little bit better, and I thought I could maybe squish the bell jar down so it's a little wider and less tall so that it would fit the proportions of the Nendroid, but I wanted it to also fit the size of the canvas, so that's why I decided to just make her a little taller. I used my dollar store paints for this. <laughs> I really need to stop using those for paintings. I like using them for crafty things, and I felt like, oh, this is just a cartoony painting that I'm gonna finish in one day. It's nothing fancy. I'm not gonna use my fancier paints. But honestly, I need to stop doing that. I always save my nice paints, be like, oh, I'm gonna save it for a special painting, and then I never end up using them because I'm saving it for something special. Like, I'm sure a lot of you can relate, saving that one sketchbook for super nice sketches, but then you never end up sketching in it because you're scared to ruin it. It's that kind of thing. I mean, I don't have a ton of acrylics. I honestly prefer oils. It's just that it's really hard for me to do a lot of oil paintings with my video schedule. And like I could, I'm just really bad at scheduling time for the oil paintings, I guess. And with Artie Avent, it's a definite no. There's no way I can do oil paintings when I'm busting out daily videos. They just take me way, long, way too long to make. I do have these Chroma Artist acrylics. They're really nice, but I think they're heavy body and they're just really thick. And certain colors are just extra thick. I don't know. There's something about them, I just don't really like even though the colors are really nice and then I have these Liquitex soft body paints that I just got last Christmas and they're really nice they're just really small tubes and so again I'm like I don't want to waste them but it's like well who cares Bailey if you use them up go buy more like it's not a big deal I don't know why I'm psyching myself out like this so yeah I use the dollar store acrylics probably shouldn't have the colors can get kind of muddy and like in general I like the dollar store paints especially how liquidy they are but the yellow is especially bad, and because I'm using a lot of yellow, that was probably a mistake. In my mind, I was like, it's kind of a dull yellow, and I thought, oh, that's okay, I don't care, I don't want it to be super vibrant. But I forgot that mixing is really, really horrible. Like, if I want to make an orange, I have to just use the orange paint. I can't mix orange because it looks so dull, unless that's the kind of orange I'm going for, is a really dull orange. And if I try to mix green, again, it's a dull, muted green. And I love my muted colors, I just didn't want that in this case, I guess. And I mean, I wasn't using green or orange but I was mixing shadows into the yellow. There's a lot of blue in the background, so I wanted blue light on her, but it just ended up looking a little muddy. So her dress color's not the best. I still like it, I think it's fine. It's just looking at the paint, I'm like, mm, yeah, that is a little muddy. It could look a little better. I still think the dollar store paints turned out okay. To me, they're not the worst thing in the world. I don't mind using them. I just need to not be afraid to use the other paints I have. I'm also a little scared to invest too much into acrylics because like I said, I prefer oils and I wanna get better at scheduling oil paintings to make it into my videos. Because if I have only a week till my upload date, I'm not gonna start an oil painting. I need to start it earlier and work on it piece by piece while working on other videos to go up in the meantime. So that's something I'll have to work at. But like I said, not, not during already have it. No way, actually, you will be seeing some oil painting. Nothing spectacular, but it's something I worked on in the past that you've never seen. Footage that's been sitting on my computer for almost two years. That will come to you in this already advent, so be on the lookout for that. The last step I did was I varnished the painting using this satin UV varnish. I kind of want to look into getting a matte varnish because, I don't know, I just don't like the look of this. I wouldn't mind having gloss and matte and then I can just pick between the two, but satin, normally I like satin, but I just, I don't know, once I put it on, I was like, hmm, it does make the colors pop a little more, but I don't really like how reflective it is. That's my problem with satin and gloss is sometimes matte is just nicer. I don't know. You can see the picture better because it's not reflecting everything. Anyway, that's all I have to say about the painting. I hope you guys enjoyed day three of Artie Advent. I will be back tomorrow with another video, so be on the lookout for that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.